Yes. Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of the perineum, especially urogenital triangle. In previous lectures, you have seen the boundary of the perineum. Here. In this diagram, you can see this is boundary of the perineum. Anteriorly, it is bounded by scrot scrotum. On each side, medial side of thigh, posteriorly, buttocks. If you remove, remove these structures, you will find the deeper boundary of this region. Here is this is ischio pubic ramus, ischial tuberosity. Here is Sacrum coccyx, here is sacrotubulous ligament, this is sacrotubulous ligament, this is deep boundary of the perineum, this is pubic arch, ischiopubic ramus, ischial tuberosity, sacrotubulous ligament, posteriorly sacrum and coccyx. This perineal region is divided by a horizontal line passes anterior to ischial tuberosity. This is divided into two triangles, anterior triangle, posterior. Anterior triangle is urogenital triangle, posterior triangle is inner triangle. In inner triangle, here you have already seen that here is inner canal and here is This is istiorectal fossa. This is istiorectal fossa. This is inner canal. This is istiorectal fossa. Here is perineal body. This is perineal body. This is this part is urogenital tracheal. So today we will discuss about the urogenital tracheal. First of all, we will discuss about the perineal membrane. If you cut a section, here is pubic symphysis. If you cut a section in medial plane, in sagittal section like this, like this, this is pubic symphysis, and here is perineal membrane. This is perineal membrane. This is perineal membrane. Here is perineal body. This is perineal body. And here this is scrotum. This is penis. And here is perineal body. And the structure is like that is this is superior fascia of urogenital diaphragm. This is superior fascia of urogenital diaphragm. This is superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. This is inferior fascia of urogenital diaphragm. This inferior fascia is thickened and forms the 
perineal membrane. This inferior fascia become thickened and form perineal membrane. This is perineal membrane. This is perineal membrane. So now we we'll discuss about this perineal membrane. This perineal membrane is triangular in shape. This is margin of perineal membrane. This is margin of perineal membrane, which is attached with ischiopubic ramus. This is triangular in shape. This is triangular in shape. Like this. Anteriorly, it becomes thickened and forms transverse perineal ligament. This is transverse perineal ligament. Transverse perineal ligament. This is transverse perineal ligament. And already you know that here is another ligament. That is arcuate pubic ligament. This ligament is arcuate pubic ligament. So in between the this transverse perineal ligament and arcuate pubic ligament, there is a vein that is deep dorsal vein. This is deep dorsal vein. This vein is deep dorsal vein. And on each side to this, there is nerve. This is dorsal nerve of the penis. These are two dorsal nerve of the penis. So these three structures passes between these two ligaments. Arcuate pubic, pubic ligament and transverse perineal ligament. Now this perineal membrane it is triangular in shape. It has base, it has apex. Apex become thickened and form the transverse perineal ligament. And base is this. This is base. This is base. Base is continuous with this perineal body and this is collis fascia. It is continuous with the collis fascia inferiorly. This is collis fascia and superiorly, superior fascia of urogenital diaphragm. So posteriorly it will be continuous with the superior fascia of urogenital diaphragm and inferiorly with the collis fascia. And really here it becomes thickened. Here it becomes thickened and this thickening point is transverse perineal ligament. This is transverse perineal ligament. This is transverse perineal ligament. And here and the ligament which is present here that is this ligament is arcuate pubic ligament. This is arcuate pubic ligament. And structure passes between these two stuck ligaments. These are This is deep dorsal vein of the penis. Deep dorsal vein of the penis. And the structure, these are the nerve. This is dorsal nerve of the penis. So the structure passes between these two ligaments. So it is triangular in shape, it has base, which is continuous with these two fascia, college fascia and superior fascia of the original diaphragm. Apex become thickened from the transverse perineal ligament and on each side on each side it is attached with ischiopubic ramus this is ischiopubic ramus on each side is attached with this ischiopubic ramus it is pierced by several structures in male it is pierced by urethra here is urethra is present so this is urethra and Several vessels pierce this. Here is branch of the internal pudendal artery. This is internal pudendal artery. It gives a branch. There is posterior scrotal branch. These are posterior scrotal branch. These branch, this artery pierce this. It gives numerous branches like this. Here. In this diagram, this is perineal membrane, this is perineal membrane, this is internal pudendal artery, this is internal pudendal artery. It pierces this from up above to downward. 
it pierces here. Gives branch posterior scrotal branch. It gives branch numerous muscular branches. It pierces this. It gives artery to bulb of the penis. It gives it pierces by artery to bulb of the penis. Artery to urethra. This is pierced by artery to urethra. Here is dorsal artery of the penis. Here is deep artery of the penis. Dorsal artery of the penis, deep artery of the penis, artery of urethra. Here is artery to bulb. These are muscular branches. Here are posterior scrotal branches. These artery pierces through this perineal membrane. And on the other side, here, this is pudendal nerve. This is pudendal nerve which gives branch which pierces this perineal membrane. This is posterior scrotal nerve. It gives muscular branches with pierces this and it continues here and it passes between these two ligaments transverse perineal ligament and arcuate pubic ligament here. Here. This is dorsal artery of the penis. So these structures pierces the perineal membrane in case of male. In case of female, and the structure here is vagina is present. And now the name of vessels changes. Here is internal pudendal artery. Here in male, it gives posterior scrotal branch. In case of female, this branch is posterior labial branch. Here is muscular branch. Here is artery to bulb of vestibule. Urethral branch. Here is dorsal artery of the clitoris. Here is deep artery to clitoris. Same way, here the pudendal nerve gives branch, posterior labial nerve, muscular branches, and here is dorsal nerve of clitoris. So these structures pierce the perineal membrane. So this is all about the perineal membrane.